Do you want to play Minecraft Java Edition with shaders but don't know how? I'm Tom from Shopify and in this video I'll be guiding you through how to play with shaders both through Optifine and iWoods. Before you download and install any shaders, you first need to download either Optifine or Iris. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the Iris installation process. If you'd like to use Optifine instead, click the top right corner of the screen now, then return to this video at the timestamp on the screen. To begin installing Iris, you first need to install Fabric Mod Loader, Fabric API and the Sodium Mod. First, head over to the Fabric website. All links you'll need for this video can be found in the description. Then, select the version of the Fabric install you'd like to download. I recommend downloading the most recent version, in this case, that is version 0.11.1. .1. When the Fabric installer has downloaded, open it, select the version of Minecraft you want to use shaders for, then click install. Now that you've downloaded and installed Fabric, you need to install Fabric API, Sodium and Iris. To begin, download all three from the links in the video description. When all files have downloaded, press Windows key and R and enter %update percent. If you're a Mac user, the file path for this folder is on screen now. Then, head into your .minecraft folder and create a new folder. Name this folder mods and now drag the jar files for Sodium Iris and Fabric API into the newly created mods folder. All three mods will now be added to your game. Now you've successfully installed either Optifine or Iris, you can install the shader packs you'd like. To begin, head over to the downloads page of your selected shader packs and press download. For this example, I'll be using the complementary shaders. When the shader pack has finished downloading, go ahead and start your game. Make sure you're on the correct installation by checking in the bottom left corner of the launcher near the play button. If not, click the installations drop down and select the correct version. When your game has opened, head over to the Options tab, then Video Settings. Here you should see an option for either Shader Packs or Shaders, depending on whether you're on Optifine or Iris. Click on that tab and select Open Shader Pack folder. Now locate the Shader Pack you downloaded earlier and drag the zip file into this folder. Your shaders should now appear in the list of installed Shader Pack. To apply them, simply click on them and click Apply. Your shaders should now be working when you play the game. If you found this tutorial helpful, let us know by liking and commenting down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Shockbite for more game and game server tutorials like this.